happened when I went over to attempt to do a Fox interview, but let me set this record straight. First off, I was told earlier today, like I've done all day long, I've done about 10 interviews while I've been here at the Republican National Convention. I was told earlier today that there was a possibility of me going on O'Reilly to talk about the same issues that I've been talking about since I've been here. When I arrived at the set to go on to the O'Reilly show, I found out that they had changed topics, or at least now changed the entire format that I was told I was supposed to arrive on. That was not what I agreed to participate in, and I left. Now, this is the first time that I have not done an interview that I was scheduled to do, probably in the last five years, and I chose not to do this interview. That doesn't bring the O'Reilly show to a screeching halt. It should not have even affected Bill because there's nine million people here trying to get on the air. But then you have to take it to another place, O'Reilly, and try to call me a coward because I won't talk to you when your producer and your line producer clearly hoodwinked each other and couldn't figure out how to explain what it is they wanted me to do. So let me talk about this little coward thing for a second. The word coward is usually used on people who have done most of the things that you've done, like embellish and lie about your credentials as a journalist, like the fact that your own daughter in a testimony in a court case reported in the Washington Post said that you dragged your ex-wife down a flight of stairs. You want to talk about coward, homeboy, when you point a finger this way, look at that. Three are coming back. We know who the coward is, and if I'm a coward just because I won't talk to you, let's also remember this. I spent 22 years in the military, my friend. What you made sure you shirked your responsibility and didn't serve. You want to talk about coward? That's what a coward truly is. Someone who's going to call somebody a name on air and not even to their face. I'm calling you one now so the whole world can see it. That's the definition of real coward. Leave me alone. You don't want me on your show anymore? Let's make sure we get this clear. In the history of the O'Reilly Show, I've only done it three times. I don't care.